It was late one night on the Isles of Rye, and the engines of the East Norfolk Rye were settling in for the night. Ryan shunned his last DC before rolling into his berth, yawning as he did so. Ugh, I really don't like how I've been given the good work around here. Work means we get to keep operating, Ryan. Isn't that what you want? I know, Jess, but... <clears throat> Doesn't it get boring sometimes? Come on, you know you like it. I do, but doesn't too much of a good thing make it bad? That's why chocolate causes diabetes, bro. Ah, funny the fat people. Ah! Hush, man. Let's just sleep. And so the engines rolled back into their berths and shut their eyes. While the other engines dreamt of pleasant days and easy work, work, Ryan dreamt of rather unpleasant dreams. Next morning, Sir Gerald and oh. Next morning, Sir Jow drove up to the sheds in Ivor, spinning out like a real hood nibber. Morning, engines. Morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Yes, good morning. Hey, what's up, I'm Pablo? Since DP1 broke himself last night, I called in another engine for far off. Ryan, you're to meet him at the harbour that you sank Lord Farquaad. Yes, sir, but who could do my work? I'll do it. If you insist. The engines rolled off to do their jobs. Ryan leaving last for his job. When he got there, he could only stare confusion. A large orange diesel locomotive was being lowered onto the rails. The diesel called out to Ryan as his wheels made contact with the rails. Hey there, is this the e Uh, yeah. You sure this is where you're needed? Yes, I think it is. Welcome, say, where's your couplings? The diesel had couplings that looked like fists. The ordinary hook and chain coupling. Workmen scrambled over to fit them on. Fitters running over to change these out. No, this can't be the replacement engine. For the Deltic that broke? Yeah. That's me. Who even are you? Henry, you are Ryan? I heard a bit about you. Nice to meet you, Henry. You too, Ryan. The two engines are... are cup. Ryan pulls Henry back to the shed. So Jared was waiting for them. Hello, Henry. Welcome to the e &R. It's a pleasure, sir. My museum needs some space for a bit. Ryan went blank. Was his engine a museum piece? He couldn't believe what he was hearing. He was hearing. Henry, you're to be taking DP1's express duties for today. Ryan, you're to be helping out at the mines again. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. The two engines got to work immediately. Henry working hard on the express and Ryan worked hard at the mines. It was that afternoon when Ryan was taking the trucks of stone from the quarry when Henry whooshed past him. Henry has an air whistle, which was very unfamiliar to Ryan, causing the bump to the trucks roughly. Well, isn't he showing off? Later that night at the shed, Henry and Ryan were side by side. The other engines were all talking to Henry, leaving Ryan a little salty. The other engines rolled inside to sleep. However, Ryan decided to stay up and watch Henry in secret. Henry sat alone outside the shed, looking up at the sky and sighing. Ryan sat silently for a few minutes before rolling out to talk to him. Hey, so, um... Oh, hey Ryan. You can't sleep either? Well, yeah. I can't empty my mind. Empty of what? All I've been getting is all the goods work recently. 
It's as if nobody works hard enough and I'm dragging them along with all the heavy work. You know, Ryan, I've longed for a run. Why? Doesn't your museum let you run and polish you? Haha, <laughs> good one. Henry looked away awkwardly, chuckling nervously for a moment. He wasn't sure how to react. Ryan notices this and... Oh, uh, they don't? Nope. Preservation is completely different from where I come from. Sitting in lines, collecting dust, being hidden away. I haven't run in 16 years. Ryan, it's like a fifth of my life. <sighs> I guess I am jealous. Yes, very jealous. Don't get like that. Surely it isn't that bad. Ever collected rust? Do that for 16 years? Ryan pauses, starts to rethink his view on work. Maybe it wasn't too bad. All these odd jobs. Oh. Ryan pauses, starting to rethink his view on work. Maybe it wasn't too bad. All these odd jobs. He rolls back into his shed. Good night. Good night. And so Ryan shut his eyes and went to sleep. The next morning, Ryan looked over at Henry's berth to find DP1 was there. He blinked for a moment when he started to realise that he had only been dreaming of Henry. Jess rolled out of his, out of her berth and looked over to Ryan, speaking in a playful tone. You ready for some more hard work? Ryan thought for a moment before replying, I sure am. Oh, where's the grumpy Ryan from yesterday? Let's say he's gone now. I've considered what you said yesterday and I think you're right. The two edges smiled at each other, getting ready for work.